Hey there, what's going on? Tanya Eliza here from TanyaEliza.com. And on Monday, we were talking about, last Monday, we were talking about how to make a living through your passion. And I gave you three steps to start with on how to actually do that. Step number one was actually knowing what your passion was. Step number two was following a leader going in the direction that you wanna go in. Somebody who's already kind of living through through a similar passion and making a living and, have, and has learned how to monetize that. And then step number three is taking massive action. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk a little bit today in this video too, we're gonna talk about um, after you found your passion, how to actually really connect with somebody that is going down a similar path that you want to learn how to mentor. How do you connect with that person? How do you get them to actually reveal some of their goods to you, okay? So here's what I would do, and here's what I have done. So number one, you're gonna find your passion. Now that might take you a day or two to really figure out what that is because um, you really wanna make sure it is something that really jazzes you, that gets you really excited because people are going to see that in you. So for me, I used to work in finance. I was a finance specialist and I worked in an office that drove me crazy. After six years, it was just like, get me out of here. I need to do something that I'm more passionate about. I made a lot of money, but I got kind of grumpy because it was wasn't my passion. So I, I knew I really loved to travel. And I had gone on a, a travel trip for two months while I was actually working. I took two months off and uh, I went all over the world. I went on 13 different planes in a matter of two months, which was crazy, but it was awesome. I, I loved learning different culture, being in, immersed in different languages, eating different food, um, seeing the beaches. I love beaches. I love surfing. So when I came back from that, I knew immediately like that is my passion. And I really wanted to find a way where I could work and travel at the same time. So basically I want to find a way where I can make money traveling. And uh, I was like, I don't know where to begin. I don't know where to start on this. I have no idea, but I know that's what I want to do. So I got really excited about that. When you get that feeling that you're really excited about that something that you're, is your passion, that's when you know you're at the right spot. Okay, so you gotta make sure that you have that feeling, whatever it is, if it's a sport that you enjoy. You can trust me, make money with anything that is your passion. So don't worry about associating money just yet to that passion. Okay, just find out what the heck you are passionate about and scribble down a few things and, 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 and create a feeling to those things that you're actually writing down. Now, once you have that feeling of utter excitement excitement, like, yes, this is my total passion like I had with travel, then what you want to do is you want to seek out somebody that is going down the path that you're wanting to go down. How have they monetized? Have they even learned how to monetize that passion? Now we have, in this day and age, we have um, a really cool thing. I don't know if you've heard about it. It's called the internet, right? So you can actually go on the internet. You can go on Google. You can go on YouTube. And you can find somebody living the lifestyle that you want to live, okay? Um, and then you want to connect with them, right? They don't have to be in the same city as you because of the internet. We've got, you know, a global scale that we can operate on. We've got Skype that you can connect with people by. We, we have, you know, just the old-fashioned telephone to pick up, pick up the phone and say, hey, most often if you find somebody that has learned how to monetize their passion, they're going to have a website or they're going to have a blog, okay? So like this video, if you're on my blog watching this video, this is like my home. This is my infrastructure. This is where I voice my message to my people. This is where my people come to get content, to learn stuff, um, all that good stuff. They find out my recommended resources at the top. You want to have um, you want to have this infrastructure, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But you want to find somebody that has an infrastructure like that. Okay. So if I'm not, you know, if you're not into travel or if you're not into anything that I'm doing, then you got to find a mentor that is doing what you want to do. Okay. So you. Can can go on Google and you can type in um, golfing blogs or something like that or you can talk about or you can go on Google and and go um, fitness training blogs health blogs okay whatever it is your passion just start googling around and try to find um, somebody that looks like somebody that you want to connect with you can also go to YouTube because there's a lot of people out there that are now doing videos that are expressing their passion and you can learn from them and, and things like that so go to YouTube or go to Google and try typing around for people. Find somebody where you think their infrastructure looks like something that is professional enough that they know what they're talking about so that they can actually be that mentor that you're looking for, okay? So that's how you wanna find them, okay? Now when you find them, you've actually gotta know how to connect with these people because if, they're, if they've are if they learned how to monetize their, their brand and, and their passion, then they're probably busy, right? They're probably busy um, on the beach sipping margaritas or something like that, but 
but you got to learn how to connect with a leader or somebody that's going in the direction that you want to go in. So how do you do that? So my like number one connecting tip is just to pick up the phone if you can. If you have that opportunity, most often on their blog or website, they're going to have a contact tab at the top. And so you want to go to that contact tab and whatever means of contact that they have, connect with them that way. Okay, so if it's just email that you have the availability to connect with them by, send them a, an email message. But if you have a phone number there, call them, pick up the phone. Don't be afraid to reach out to these people. You're gonna get a lot more from these people if you, if you really connect with them. So connect with that person. And here's some of the things that I would ask to make sure that you have the right mentor so that you know that you're gonna be guided in the right direction and you don't waste any time and you don't waste any money doing this. Okay, some of these guys may have consulting services. If they do, um, you know, call them up, ask them some questions to see if you're comfortable enough spending the money for their con uh, consult services. And some of the questions that you wanna ask are, how long have you been doing what you're doing? You know, introduce yourself first in a friendly manner. Just say, hey, look, I'm, I'm really into uh, golfing or I'm really into travel and um, I really wanna make that my, my passion, but I wanna make a living with that. I know with the internet and I know with all these tools that we have these days, there's a way that I can do that. And I'm reaching out trying to find somebody that has already done what I kinda wanna do. I wanna make it my own and I kinda wanna learn from you. I like what you're doing. Uh, if you compliment the person they will be more apt to sharing stuff with you I know for me I get compliments all the time Tanny your blog is awesome your website is awesome I love everything you do and I'm more apt to really you know connect with that person because of the compliments that they've shared with me so be complimentary as much as you can don't overdo it but say hey look I found you I love your stuff I love what you're doing I would love to learn more can we set up a phone conversation if you haven't already picked up the phone or can we set up a meeting time and then set up a meeting time and chat a little bit for you know 15 minutes or so on how long they've been doing what they've been doing. Ask them how their experience is, like what kind of experience they have in target marketing, what kind of experience do they have in website development or website building or blog, you know, ask them how they got their blog done. Um, and then what you wanna do is just really get a feel for if that person is a good mentor for you to take you down the success path that you're looking to go down. Now, if you think that they're willing to guide you or, or whatnot, um, I would never take a leader's time for granted and then I would also never take a leader's time without some sort of compensation. Now the compensation doesn't have to be monetary, but I would always offer something up. I would always offer help. So just think of it this way. If you're coming into somebody's world and you're asking for their time, which is kind of what you're doing, you wanna make sure that they feel comfortable giving their time to you. They're, you're not just gonna suck all their time from them and, and just be you know, a leech. You wanna be able to be serving as much as they are gonna be serving back to you. So what I would say is something like, hey, I know that you're um, gonna maybe take some time to help me really understand this industry, maybe share some tools with me. How can I give back to you and what you do? How can I give back to you and your cause? What can I do for you? Okay, you always wanna give that back to them right away so that they feel like this person is, is just amazing. I can't believe they, they wanna give back to me. I don't have a lot of people that come into my world that do that. And you really wanna be that person. You're gonna get a lot more time and a lot more information um, from that person if you do it that way. Okay, and if they have consult services, ask them about their consulting and ask them how much you know they would charge for what is it that you're looking for. Just say, look, my passion is similar to yours. Um, I see that you've monetized it. How's that going, by the way? You know, do you make good money every month? Uh, I'm not asking dollar for dollar, but what kind of income? Do you make a full-time income? Do you make a part-time income? How is that going for you? And then find somebody exactly in that spot with that conversation. Ask them if you can mentor with them. Ask them how you can give back to what it is that they're doing and build a relationship from there. And that relationship that you build with your mentor is going to be absolutely huge in carving your massive path to success to making a living through your passion. Now, if you don't have a blog or you don't have a website built up, it's probably one of the most 
um, important pieces of infrastructure that you need to get your message of passion out. And it's your platform that you're going to monetize your message with. And so if you don't have the infrastructure built, or maybe you have it built already, but you're not completely satisfied with it because it's not optimized to make you money, then I encourage on this page somewhere, uh, there will be a, a, a banner and it'll say, get a website just like mine. It's actually a course that I've just, I've kind of put together to help people build an infrastructure, their brand, their passion, whatever it is, it's generic. And it will help you step by step build that up. So you can have a website or a blog just like mine. I've had a lot of people ask me about it. So I've put this really cool step by step blueprint together for you. It's called the ultimate branding blueprint, but you can start with that, but find a mentor going in the direction that you want to go in, connect with them, join yourself at the hip a little bit, offer back to their world. And you'll be amazed at what happens to uh, your passion and actually making a living through your passion. So this is video number two. Tomorrow, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about actually in video three, we're going to talk about actually taking massive action and what that looks like and what are some of the activities and tools that you can actually put in to uh, creating a, an income, creating a living uh, through your passion. So we'll see you on video number three. Have an awesome day. Comment below if you found somebody um, as far as a mentor goes in your industry and say, and, and just explain the um, relationship that you have with your mentor and how much of a difference it's made in your business. I really want to hear from you. So we'll see you on the next video. This is Tanya Eliza from TanyaEliza.com.